Hello everyone, so now we'll be learning about comparing one of the most important uh, section for your exam perspective. Very easily you can get 5 marks and nothing to worry on because if you believe yourself uh, nothing could be impossible. So very easily being a friend student you can surely learn. I can show you the previous year questions okay. Even the model exam question papers so you, and you will see what are the amount of questions they have been asked. Hmm? So compare if you observe five marks easily you'll be getting comparative and so on. It is basically comparison between two things. Very easily you can get five marks. I'll tell you how in this particular notes. You just need to follow the format and follow follow the uh, aligns on how I'm going to explain. Then if you're able to do, then nothing to worry on because that's simple as that. Hmm? Let me show it to you. First of all, first now verb plus minus equal. Adjective third noun k noun. This is the formula. You just need to follow the same formula. Write down in the exam was the same formula. So whenever you get the question for compare, you'll be writing the first noun. Then you'll be writing the verb which is linked to the first noun. Then plu mo or si. So basically on the sign you are supposed to use it. If you are taking it from adjectives, then you're supposed to use plu mo or si. If you're taking it for the nouns, you can take it. It could be adjective or not. So you can make it for plu the the or the for the apostrophe in case if it is uh, you know right if it's if it's starting with vowel blue the more the or thon the for whenever it is the verb you're comparing with the verb which is given in the question then blue more or thon and then ker and two nouns and then a second noun second noun that's what you're supposed to write it i'll give you an example don't worry ram say patient so whenever you get a question delhi a tokyo poly you just need to do this you need to write which is the first noun which is the second noun what is the noun Name, place, animal, thing. So Delhi is the first noun. Tokyo is the second noun. If you do not understand so long, focus now. Delhi is the first noun. Tokyo is the second noun. So first noun I am writing. Okay. Now ET. Instead of ET, I am writing it EST. Why? Because in, it comes in a ethro verb conjugation. So I said, you know, the verb should be linked to the noun. So when we compare Delhi with ET, in the ethro context, it's going to be EST. Okay. A. Okay, EST, I'm just written, I'm just telling you the spellings, okay, so that you remember for your exam. Okay, then I'm writing what? Plus, plu, more, or C. So, which one I'm taking in the question they've asked? Plus, plu. So, I'm going to take plu, P L U S, after just written. Then, what I'm taking, I can take adjective or third noun. Is there any third noun over here? No. So, I'm taking this adjective itself. I'm writing this polu, then I'm writing ker, then I'm writing Tokyo. Simple. Tokyo is what the second. Very simple. First noun, first noun. Verb which is linked to this EST. Then what did I write? I wrote the flu or C. It could be uh, flu, P L U S, because it's in the already in the question itself. Okay. And then I'm writing the adjective for you, Ker, Tokyo. La American, Ela, Italian, Bobe, de la Bere. Okay. Now in the question, I'm classifying into first noun, second noun. What is the first noun? La American is the first noun. Italian, obviously, the second noun. De la Bere is the third noun. Now I'll show you how it is basically linked to the. Sparrow. So I'll just send a picture of this. So this will be understood. Okay. Let me go ahead. Can you see this? Now what did I do? I written as the first noun is La American. Then what did I write? B La American B O I B E N T because why in the verb conjugation when it is changing, you observe you know, I said no, the verb when it is linked to the verb linked to the noun, uh, it basically changes. Okay, it basically be changes. Tela bear. This boy, when this verb is there, no, I've written this verb. First noun, what is the first noun over here? La American. Then what, I read, what is the verb which is associated B O I B E N T? I've written the verb. Then plus minus equal, which one are you writing? I'm just telling you easy, okay, plus minus equal. I've written it as what? What is given in the question? Hmm? Let me show you. In the question, they've given equal, so I'll be writing it as O C because your adjective is there. So I've written it as O C. What? Where is it? Yeah, I've written this. OC, OC, okay. OC, I meant, okay, verb, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is verb, so it is, I've written it as OTONT. A U T N T, OTONT, because boy, wo OTONT, and the, the bear, la Italian. The bear, la Italian. This is the third noun, and this is what? The bear, I've taken, take, taken it as what? The, the comparison to what? Have I taken the adjective or have I taken what? I've taken exactly the, Third noun and then the second noun. Okay, I'll repeat once again. First noun, la American I've written. Verb, what was it? Boy, wo, B O I B E N T. Then plus minus equal, the, it is linked to the verb. Okay, so that's the reason I've written authentic. 
okay othon they have written so observe have written othon then adjective what is the adjective over here uh, adjective is b i e r e bear okay remember they bear la italian they bear la italian if you observe d e i have written it and then i have written the othon okay it's very simple as this you can clearly easy for this exam you can write it even over here very simple format i have just written it for example if the question see probability of the question okay and a paul born so don't don't look into this one this both now as of now just observe and a paul and is the first noun uh, if you are writing it is and a paul what do you write you write and okay if i'm taking over here and est it will become est then what will i write here it will be getting converted into what converted into what think once again third adjective or the it is given into what the noun format so i'll be writing it a third format or noun format then i'll be writing her and i'll be writing the second one it's as simple as this so is it all clear for you that plus minus equal no that basically comes over here her format and then pole very simple as that is this clear so let me show you in the minus format how is it and est will become this one plus plu more this one no you remember this one the sign i wanted to by heart this by heart so you can observe what they have followed same pattern over here that same pattern i've written it over m o i n s more born i've written the born which is the third noun k and the p that's it so that's all guys uh, mainly in terms of studies for your compare a perspective because important element where you can score good marks for your exam is this particular section uh, i've just given up even previous questions you can refer that and then you can study all that you need to do is that go to the description enroll for it and get all the materials access and start studying materials means like very my own notes itself which i've explained it would be easy for you to understand so that's all take your take care wish you all the best good luck and if you have any doubts please feel free to reach out Catch you all for the next video. Until then, goodbye. And if you're watching this video, and if you're already enrolled for the course, parallelly, which I've provided the form of bonus, you're enjoying. I hope so.